Hello, this is Kenny Belfato at SimTech, and today I'll show you our SawSim application. And here under our webpage, Sim Tech, under products, we have the SawSim. And what it's going to do is going to filter out parts that are rectangles, no other machining, and it could send those to artists or cut right or a filtered list. So it starts with solid sim, and I've got your 3D model here. I'm going to pick select solid, put a window around everything. This will do my automatic feature recognition and create a cut list that has all of the parts in the cut list. Here's the export. Save that. And so there are nine parts in the cut list right now. And you can do some other neat stuff with solid sim. You can do this expand command, do an exploded view like this, and you can do a lay flat. And this part's laid flat. And uh, I did have it ignore these small parts. There's a setting for that. But I see here, you know, part eight is just a rectangle with no other machining. So is part seven. So you've got your solid sim settings. By the way, you could ignore things smaller than a four inch cube. That's why those were ignored. But uh, let's take a look at what um, saw sim can do for us right now. Right now, that CSV file is nine parts long. It's got the name, the material, and the quantity. There's the panel dimensions right there. And here they are here in XYZ as well. Then there's a couple of columns here. It says, is it a rectangle? Does it have machining on the side? Is it machining on the bottom on the top and so forth so we would normally right click and cut that and cut all nine of those but I'm going to use the saw sim program I'm going to filter that list so I go and select the file that it just made and I could say rectangles with no other parts send those to artists or cut right or a filtered CSV file or all of them save it Okay, okay, yes to open it. And now in that folder, we've got the ones that go to the CNC are only seven parts. And the ones that go to artists or cut right are those two parts right there. So part seven and eight, like we saw. And uh, that just effectively reduced the list for us so that now we can right click on the CNC one show more options and pick cut with router sim automation suite and saw sim did its job it filtered the list you know if there was 500 parts in that assembly and maybe a hundred of them are just rectangles it would filter that list for you you'd only have 400 to run on the router and 100 to run on the saw so that's how the saw sim works it lets you filter the list from solid sim and at this point, the rest is going to be just router sim cutting and nesting those parts out. See each part open up, make a toolpath for its features that were recognized. There's some uh, dados and pocket cuts on these. And then it would nest them together. There's the nesting with multiple stock sizes. And there's some skeleton cutting going on on there too. And that just finished the whole job. Cutting this the parts for us pretty quickly. That is solid sim, then run through saw sim, and then run through router sim with nesting and automatic nesting. And advanced nesting, we have a tool stay down nest going on here. The tool can stay down and cut from part to part without lifting up. That can save you some cycle time. There's just one lead in and one lead out. And it cuts all the parts for us. Thanks for taking a look.